What's going on, guys? So, I've actually been away for a few days. Just got back from Vegas last night. And uh, late, real late, actually. And I worked all day. But I'm going to uh, work on this truck a little bit. So, it reeks like fuel in here still. The guy told me the fuel tank leaked. So, I want to get that out. So, seat out, carpet out, all that junk out. Get in there, see what it looks like. See what I'm working with for panels. It's uh, almost 7 o'clock on Friday. Danielle works tomorrow and Sunday. So I'm hoping I can get this all apart. Uh, I ordered a bunch of sheet metal. The guy I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. So hopefully I can get everything I need and get at least started. Get everything kind of tacked in. Start taking all this junk apart. Maybe tackle the box. We'll see. But I want to get a bunch done this weekend. That's my plan. I got some uh, oxycetylings. My tanks are empty. And I figured... I'm probably going to need it on this project. So, cab disassembled. I'm going to start cleaning the junk out of the back. I think I use it as a bit of a uh, storage facility. I'd like to get the box off, or at least chopped down, because I can barely fit around this stupid thing. So, I got a short box just to work on it. So, I'll get this all cut, tore apart, and bring you guys back. So, seat's out. Why don't you see the... The factory color, it's real nice. Real nice olive there. So, in here, back there is junk, obviously. Uh, I ordered a panel that goes, I don't know, it's 20 inches and goes all the way around. So that's no big deal. Obviously, cab corner and stuff. Nothing left of the rocker. The floor is actually in better shape than I thought, but I'm going to fix it anyway so it rolls over uh, wholly at the front. Basically, same on both sides. It's still there, but it's kind of pretty soft in the corners the other side's a little bit better not much and you can see there's like spots like this where it's kind of come through so i'll do the braces <clears throat> underneath there's a brace there there's a brace there and that's the body mounts and all that so i'll do those the floor i don't know what the pan looks like but i'll you know show where your the foot well and all that i think it goes up round down hopefully it curves down obviously that'll go in the rocker and the inner rocker Get all that taken care of. Uh, otherwise, it's actually not in too bad state. Like the tunnel's fine, where the seat is is fine. There's no issues there. Just that back section. I probably gonna use a whole panel, just a little bit of it. I said the inner outer rocker, cab corners. Really shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, I pulled the carpet out. I'll probably keep it. I don't know the next guy might want it. Otherwise, taking it all apart, I found uh, the cover for the light, all the little trim stuff like that. Oh, one thing I found was pretty cool. This really dates the truck. If you know what this is, leave a comment. I'm going to say if you're under 50, you have no idea. But yeah, so that's all apart. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to go grab some sheet metal. So I'll be good. So I'll get to cleaning on this thing, put on my mask, because there's mouse shit everywhere. That's awesome. And start cleaning up the box. Get all the junk out of there. Because do the cab corner properly, the box has to be off. And I'm... I'm not really going to use this box anyway, so I'm hoping I can unbolt it underneath, slide it back, and just maybe take the box size right off. And uh, I might actually chop it all up because I want the wheel tubs and all those sort of things, so get going on that. But otherwise, it's not too bad. This side's kind of a little wore out, <laughs> so I definitely want to make sure I have the door on, close it, put it all in, put the strength in with the rocker and all that. But really shouldn't be too big of a deal. kind of looks way worse than it is. Hey, it's only metal and I got a grinder. So, that's done in there. Unfortunately, I gotta get cleaning up done. Probably should've done that first because this part sucks. All right, it's almost nine o'clock. And the sucker's dismantled. So, I mean, it actually came apart pretty easy because it attaches to these braces, which this is the only one that was kind of decent. So that one should look about like it and there's nothing left. This back one is all rotted. These front ones were a joke. So I ended up ordering a few of these. I'm gonna need to order a few more. Uh, or I might be able to kind of make one out of two if they're kind of not too bad. I didn't order this back piece, but I'm gonna have to do that. Otherwise, box sides are off with the tubs still attached. So I'll have to kind of cut those out. They need a little bit of repair. And then, uh, I mean, the rest of the floor it's uh, just kind of barely hanging on, so I should be able to saws all this wood kind of off, take it all apart, 
and do that. So in the meantime, uh, I might try and drag these outside. It's uh, a little stuffy in here. But I'd like to get that kind of dealt with. Maybe chop the wood off tonight yet. And yeah, get a little bit more room in here. But now you can see I'll have lots of room to work on the cab corners. And this uh, little header pan or whatever, it's just kind of sitting there in space. It's attached to some wood at the front, which I'm sure will just fall apart. Yeah, it's going good. All right, so everything's off. The bed's mostly off. Got the header panel off. It's over there. So now this is what we're left with. And ultimately, this is what I was really concerned about. The chassis was in... In good shape, not all rusty. I mean, it's surface rust, obviously, but not too haggard. So, <clears throat> at the advice of my good buddy Brent from Old Half Ass, what these guys typically do on these when you shorten them, they kind of Z the frame in the front, move it ahead 12 inches, and bob 8 inches off the back, and that gives you your little uh, your short box. But ultimately, he had a good point because it's a leaf spring. I could just literally. Uh, chop the leaf springs like the perches move them ahead the 12 inches bolt them on and then be done with it the only thing i'm gonna have to do because the frame does kind of curve down i'll have to build a little something right there have some channel with a little gusset or something that i can then bolt the uh front shackle to the back is still gonna be in that uh straight part of the frame so it's not a really big issue and then when we marked uh 12 inches it's gonna put it right here so Worst case, might have to put a little uh, little pipe notch in there, but I think it'll probably be just fine. So I'm not going to lower this thing like crazy. And I mean, while it's all apart, maybe we'll take a leaf or two out, drop it down, and be done with it. But it's like a bomb went off in here. That's it for tonight. Tomorrow, I got to kind of take that apart half-ass carefully because I want to keep some of these straps because they're in. Some of them are in decent enough shape just to hold down whatever wood I'm going to put in. I'm probably just going to put plywood in. Uh, for the next guy, but you never know. So whether I keep them or not, I don't know, but take it apart, be decent. That'll be that. Uh, yeah, a little bit of cleaning. I'm not going to probably shorten the rear end or nothing like that just yet. I want to get the cab dealt with. Uh, so hopefully I can get that done this weekend yet. Tomorrow will be a bunch of cleaning, like I said, Danielle's working, so i got a bunch of free time. And it's pretty much strip where you go. i got to get my shop back out, clean all the mice turds out of it. See where those panels are going to fit. But I, I can't see it being too crazy. Put it in, trace it out, cut it out. Buzzer back in, seam seal it. And that's done. Like I said, I'm going to leave this just in the metal work so someone can see exactly what I've done. I'll probably make this look decent because once the box on, you're never going to get to it. So maybe I'll just body work the back of the cab corner. Eh, we'll see. But that's it for tonight. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate it. We're really making lots of progress. Let me know what you think of this thing, if I'm an idiot or if it's awesome. What do you think about shortening up the rear end that way? Or the, you know, the box? We'll go from there. Otherwise, I have to order a few more of these braces. Otherwise, they're going to be good. Totaled. So I got box sides. They were uh, 600 Canadian. So I don't know if that is American. Eight bucks. And then everything inside was like 250 Canadian. So I think I'm going to have uh, know, 15 or 16 hundred dollars of my money in it. So it's probably like, you know, thousand or twelve hundred dollars American. And that'll be most of everything I need to make it a rough short box. And then some sort of motor. I got a transmission, make a drive line, do burnouts. See you guys tomorrow. Well, it's the next day. I've been getting a pile of snow, so after work I do some shoveling and stuff, real pain in the ass, but uh, I'm in the garage. After work, I picked up a bunch of miscellaneous sheet bells, so Two floor pans. Unfortunately, I only got three cab supports. Uh, he didn't have one. Two uh, cab corners, sills, inner rockers. So should be good. And I picked up a pretty sweet used door. So that's pretty good. I want to put that one on before I start kind of shaping up the cab because got a whole lot of strength there. So I'm going to have to set that up to the door. And this door, I mean, it's not, well, it's pretty bad. But uh, it's had a couple of big whammos and stuff in there. So I'm going to change the door up real quick. Should just be a few bolts. Hopefully they'll come apart. This one has uh, no glass in it, but it does have uh, 
all the mechanisms, but I can just swap it all over from this sucker. I just want to get it closed, get it latched, and then I can make sure the door gaps are good and start working on the floors, shop vac, clean all the junk out. Well, I guess I also cleaned everything up since last time I saw you guys. So everything's chopped up. Uh, that's what's left of the bed. Box sides are outside, clean everything up. But overall, hey, it is what it is. So I'm making lots of progress. I also picked up a set of rally wheels, real rough ones. I'll clean those up, paint them gray, silver, whatever. Put them on, the structure they're gonna come together. Hopefully in a hurry. So uh, Saturday night, I think we might do a live stream later. So that might kind of kill the evening, but I'm hoping by uh, Sunday, I'll have some sheet metal on this thing. It'll be uh, looking a lot less rusty. It looks better without the box on it, as far as I'm concerned. Get all the junk out of here. All right, I'll pull this door off, get the other one on, see what uh, progress I can make. Okay. It's got new door on, but I'll show you that in a second. So this is the door that came off. So it had a whammo right there, which I mean, I guess you could straighten, but it's rotted through there. It's rotted through there. My finger right through. Uh, the inside actually wasn't horrible, horrible at the bottom, but again, it's folded over, it's all rotted. The back's rotted. Eh, it is what it is. I mean, this thing would be full of filler or a pile of work, which I don't want to do. So the new door's on. Uh, I mean, overall, the gap's not bad. Front and back, now I'm kind of limited. Uh, underneath here at the sill, where there is still sill, it's not bad. And that's where I'll have to... Uh, make it all work but now at least it's kind of squared up it's going to be where it's going to be it's a little tight right up in this edge here uh, so i always do some adjustment there but i'm more concerned the gap at the front and the back is about right if you can see this when you close the door the whole thing is just it's just flopping in the wind there so i'll have to make sure i have uh, everything where i want it all kind of tacked in or screwed in open the door or close it a few times make sure i'm happy with it before i burn it all in Otherwise, you got a whole bunch of problems. So door's on. I'm gonna start, uh, see if I can fit this rocker in here and just see how it's gonna turn out. Okay, so I got the door off. I had the door on where I wanted it. I just welded this little brace in here, uh, just to kind of hold the, the back of the cab corner steady because there's no structure there whatsoever. Uh, because when the door's open, I'm not gonna be able to get in and do a nice job in there. So. The plan now, I've got that off and all braced, I can kind of cut out the rocker I'm not going to use. This is the floor pan I have, so it's kind of a universal one, it's actually for an earlier Chevy truck, but they're all basically the same. Uh, so I'm going to unbolt the old one, you can see in there, uh, that's the old body mount. And then I'll just start kind of cutting away so I can get this about where I want it. And I don't know if I'm going to use the whole pan or not, it might just be worth doing it, but then I can trace it all out. And have an idea of what I want to cut and then kind of clean it all up get it in there uh, the front brace is actually not terrible I don't know if I'm gonna reuse it or not I think at this point I might as well just uh, replace it but uh, so I mean it's basically underneath it's a little uh, rubber kind of body bushing hockey puck then the the brace then the floor so just kind of put it all together both back together weld it in it's pretty simple I'm just gonna do one at a time keep it kind of level and straight should be good because the rest of the cab is actually not too bad. It hasn't been tweaked up or nothing. At the back, obviously the brace and all that's mangled. But uh, right here is where the bushing is. And actually that part of the brace is still in good shape. So the cab's fine. It's just kind of loose. This is the worst side. So I'm going to get to that. I'll start kind of trimming and cutting and making this stuff fit a little better. I'll kind of show you guys the progress I've made. So I managed to cut everything out. Uh, all the old panel, you just kind of grind it down and kind of peel it back. From the back, I marked where I wanted it. So, this new panel. Ground down the edges and stuff. But I mean, ultimately, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. It's going to go in and about like that. So I got a bunch of vice grips. I'll clamp her into place. Give it a few buzzes. And see what kind of progress I make. So, pretty happy with the fitment there i had to split the panel just a little there and a little there just for it to kind of fit where i want it uh, otherwise the other panels overlap so this will do the same i'll have to kind of smash that with a hammer same with the back here the cab corner i'm kind of i mean it's barely there it's got some strength to it but it's kind of in line with it right about where it wants to be 
so it should be good as long as the door is somewhat happy uh, against this gap I can then play with the cab corner depending on when I uh, when I put that on but so that's all tacked in uh, real real uh, rough I should be able to hang the door again make sure it's gonna fit if it is I'll put a few more welds just to hold it so I'm happy with it then I can start working on the floor because you can see this is the edge of the floor it actually fits down uh, against the sill like the the rocker there and I have inner rocker patches I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not I might be able to use some of the door and uh, I still gotta get under there and chop that brace out and all that but uh, this at least makes it look like a truck so I got the door back on just with a couple of bolts uh, ultimately you use a little adjustment in the latch it actually rubs the door just a little but the gap is still not bad it's gonna fit down there pretty decent same with the front it's good and uh, no problems down there so I'm happy with it I'm gonna buzz a few more tacks on there the door's got a bit of a wow in it you can see right there the rocker sticks out just a bit but otherwise it's fine so adjust the latch but that's that's down the road at least now I know everything's squared up the door will fit I'm happy with it we're gonna take a quick break do a little live stream so if you're on there good to see you and then I don't know if we'll be back at it tonight or not because it'll probably be supper time after that and we'll keep going but then tomorrow floor pan sill all that stuff in a rocker make it look like a truck all right well it's Sunday morning out in the garage I did a little bit of cleaning up before I started filming there so I got the the bench seat over moved the door around I pulled the other door off just so I got some uh, work room I mean at this point now the door opening is proper so I don't really got to worry about it I can burn this uh, sill in but uh, before I get too crazy I want to kind of fit everything so I'm going to uh, chop the floor out I got the uh, body mount undone already uh, probably kind of try and fit in this cab corner so I'll take this little piece of trim off and then literally just cut some of the rust out and you can kind of put it over see what I got to work with see where I'm going to join it I don't know if I'm going to use the full thing and go all the way up here I might try and join it at the body line uh, that way if you know the next day I want to put some trim in there it's less body work to do see where it's going to wrap around I got a feeling I have to make a little piece in there such is life and then otherwise I mean the rest of the floor this floor is not too bad here so hopefully that'll be good enough once I put the sill plate in, I might just have to weld a little bit of filler in there, or fill it full of some seam sealer. But overall, it should be a pretty good day. I'm going to try and finish this up pretty quick. Uh, at least get it tacked in. I was going through, I uh, put some of the video onto my computer already. It looks like it's already kind of going to be you know, 15 or 18 minutes by this point. So, uh, how much you want to watch welding, right? But I'll get this kind of cut out, get it all tacked in. Probably take a break, edit the video, and then uh, get back on it. Okay, so it's been uh, been a little while there. This is ugly, boring work. So I mean, I just kind of rough cut out the floor. I'm probably gonna go a little bit bigger once I get the panel in where I want it. The real pain in the ass part is this little brace. So I had to, you know, grind all the little spot welds out. And then this is where the cab brace would have been. So it kind of fits like that. And that's a pain. You got to get in here and grind it all. So you can see that's the leftover of what it was. Uh, I had the floor jack out. I actually had to lift the uh, the body off so I can get that mount out so I can cut it around. And I just put it back. So what's nice about that is that's what actually keeps the cab all kind of square. So just kind of jack it up, pull the hockey puck out, I get in, grind around, and I put it back down. So the cab is exactly where it is, and uh, or where it was, I should say. And I mean, a screwdriver still fits through, so that's all good. All I'm going to have to do on this one, this brace is a little bit different. It needs some sort of little spacer in there. Just so when you bolt everything down, it's not going to crush the floor. The other one had one, but I couldn't save it. It was all rotted. And then on the inside, where it joins to the sill, I got a little bit of welding to do in there. But otherwise, not too bad. So I'm going to get the floor kind of situated where I want it. And then I should be able to slide the brace in, kind of have everything where I want it. A few tack welds, so I can get under there and just see what I got to do for some metal work. And I'm hoping it's not too bad. So again, this is, this is the slow moving part, cutting and grinding and ugliness probably went through you know 15 zip discs but uh it's all part of it okay well i jumped ahead a little bit so i kind of just been working play at the floor uh just screwed in the place where i want it and it's all kind of you know ground down ready for some welding what i did because everything kind of has to fit together you can't just start welding one piece and and work on the next so this back section of floor which is all rotted where the seat belt was 
I cut that out just so I could uh, gain access to this uh, cab support because that ties into the inner rocker and that also ties into the cab corner. So everything kind of has to fit. Now, the rear supports I got, these are kind of a chintzy one. This is what they make, I guess, but it doesn't actually go right to the mount. So it's actually a sleeve uh, support. So I cut the other one out and uh, just right here, that's where the mount is, still good metal, so I'll move it back a little bit, but you just kind of weld it around, it'll it'll be a join there, and then here it'll be fine, it'll join up against the rocker and the uh, and the cab corner, when I get that on, and then underneath here, I made a fair bit of progress, so this, uh, you know, cab support, it's just sitting there, it's, uh, it's loose, but that's about where it's going to go, i got to do a little bit of rust repair in there, nothing too crazy, the inner rocker I just tacked in a little bit. Uh, this is the the floor where it curves down. So I'm going to have to just kind of zip that a little bit and I'll just tie it in there, hammer it in, weld it. That should be fine. I'll have to seam seal the front. And then i got to clean this up a little bit, but I'll just seam seal that joint. So at the back, that's all good. Uh, these holes line up, so that's what I'm going with. And that's pretty much that. Now I don't have the back section of the floor yet, unfortunately. So that's a bit of a pain. So it'll be here in uh, well, maybe a week. So the back section goes right to the corner and it's 20 inches. So it'll actually go past, this is the cap support that I've sprayed that with some WD-40. So I think I'm just gonna tack that all together. Uh, I'm gonna take the trim off. I'm gonna start making the cab corner fit kind of where I want. So I'm gonna use this uh, body line as a reference line to start. Just put a couple of tacks on. And again, you gotta test fit the door. I can't say that enough times. But that should all be basically tacked together, and then I just got that back section of floor to worry about. Uh, same thing with this cab support. You can actually see here uh, where it is, so I can even weld it on the inside if I want, then just seam seal the outside before I put the floor in. So, a bit of progress once that's done. Unfortunately, the floor was all rotted here. Uh, they sold a rocker that went over, but it was lots and lots of money. So I'm just going to kind of make a piece in the break that'll go over, fold down, and I'll weld it on pretty simple stuff so it's coming together in a hurry I'm gonna get this kind of finished up I'll take a lunch break well the doors back on again but uh, you can just kind of see cab corner lines up pretty good it's got a few self tappers holding it way too much material obviously so I'll kind of put a few tack holds in there they'll zip all the junk out and hold it in so that's what I'm gonna get on right now the door's a little goofy at the bottom. I might have to smack the cab corner just a, a hair. But I mean, it'll be uh, pretty damn good. All right. So cab corner's on. It's got a bunch of tack welds on it. Doors on, rockers and all that. So the floor I just have uh, tech screwed in. It's the piece that came out so you can kind of see the new cab corner in there. So obviously I got to fill the floor into the cab corner, but, or the, uh, brace sorry not the cab corner but i'm gonna wait until i get that other piece i mean i can get a whole lot done and really i got most of the rod out there's just a little tiny bit right there so once i get the the panel i'm sure i'll just kind of join in right there and wrap around so that's that front floor says just screwed in the rockers where it's going to be the inner rockers all dealt with i haven't uh welded in the cab support yet but you guys kind of saw where it's going to be so i'm just going to drill a hole make sure everything lines up and bolt that down but overall, all the rough work's done. The door fits. The gap's decent. Could use a little bit. I'm going to have to whack it just a smidge once it's all welded. But I mean, there you go. It's a truck again, right? Compared to what it was, I'm pretty happy with it for a couple of days' work. So that's where I'm going to end it today. And probably for this video, like I said, I've got a lot of footage there. Uh, on the next one, before anyone gives me a bunch of attitude, I thought I'd explain how I'm doing this side kind of step by step and, uh, and then come back and forth. On the next one, I'll do a lot less talking and a lot more welding, grinding, kind of in fast motion. So that way you can uh, watch this one for the explanation. The other one will be exactly uh, doing all the work. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Really appreciate it. We're making lots of progress. Keep that going. Leave a comment. Leave advice if you want. I mean, I'm going to put this video up today before I even work on the next one. So if there's something I'm doing wrong and you're letting, uh, and you can uh, let me know, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next one.